Hi everybody, how are you? It's Leslie McGrath from Leslie's Creative Studio and I'm here today to do a flip through of the journal that you may have seen me using earlier um, in the day when I was doing my mixed media, not my mixed media, goodness gracious, uh, in my um, junk journal folder that had the pocket and tag on it. So why don't we take a look at what we've got here. First of all, I have no idea where this came from, this image. I found it in my stash and I thought it would look really pretty. It reminds me of spring and hopeful for spring. I'm hopeful hopeful for spring. It may be December, but I can't wait for spring. <laughs> I'm done with winter. Um, this is made out of an, um, an Amazon um, packaging. So I have reinforced the uh, spine with some lace. I have a bulb pin here with some lace and a little um, bee bob here. And also on all four corners, I have the metal corner protectors on those as well. And there's just some cheesecloth and some coffee dyed paper underneath my image. And let's open this up to see what we have. And hello, how to untie something a child knows how to do except me today my fingers aren't working real well okay here we go so I'm going to bring you in just a little bit so you could see this a little bit better Move it down just a little bit there. I hope you can see that okay. Okay, so here we have a pocket with some lace trim and the pocket has been both glued and sewn on and also you can see all the way around this whole journal it has been sewn. So here are some clusters that I've made um, and they are some of the elements of these clusters are from Artie May's Spring Mist Journal Kit Collection. And I will link her down, her Etsy store down in the description below. This is a Tim Holtz die. And these are just some pretty little shapes, little egg shapes with roses on them. These are from Artie May's. And then it's got a little label on it and it's backed again in cheesecloth. Um, you will find that the entire journal has been stenciled, but very lightly so that you can still write in it. Um, I can't even begin to tell you what stencils that I used in this because I have so many different kinds of stencils. Um, but they're all, it's all stenciled throughout, but again, just very, very lightly so that there's still room to write wherever you need to write. And you'll also see that there's transparent flowers, transparent stickers on a lot of the pages and, not, and also on a lot of the tags as well. So again, you'll see that the vine and the lace are very um, common throughout the entire um, journal. There's lace down here at the bottom of this pocket. These pockets are so easy to make from um, paperback books that I get and I can just sit in front of the TV and cut them down and glue them together and put the little notch here in them and I just keep a uh, a container full of them so that when I'm ready to work on something they're ready to go to be decorated. And here we go. And this paper actually used to be graph paper but when I coffee dyed it the graph paper kind of went away. You can kind of see little bits of it <laughs> but it still came out this beautiful blue and I really thought that it matched. It's like a blue green and I just really thought that it matched the journal really well. So I put it in. Some more ledger paper with my butterfly. And again, I think I told you all of the paper in here is hand dyed, um, coffee dyed. And I did that all myself. And again, these transparent stickers. I believe I linked them also. Everything that I used that I was able to list, I listed in the description below. This is, it might be the one farther back, but this is basically the, um, the same uh, 
folder with the pocket with the tag that um, I did earlier today. Here's another pocket with another transparent sticker on it. And then lace down at the bottom, lace on the side. And my watch is sticking. <laughs> I'm just going to take this watch off because it's sticking to everything today. Okay. And here we have a side tuck with another tag. With a beautiful flower on it. And I don't know if I told you, but all this, all the toppers on the tags and everything are all the same sari silk. It's all the same. A little mushrooms down here. And here's another little pocket with two, with two tags. And again, this is a Artie Mays cluster here. I should say it's my cluster. I made it. <laughs> I just used different, different things from the Artie Mays Spring Mist collection on here. And this is the center of my signature. It is a pamphlet stick pamphlet stitch and it is a signal single signature and this is the uh, middle of it here and then I just put two little hearts on the uh, on the ends of my strings my two yellow roses I love yellow roses again these little mushrooms peeking out playing peekaboo I love the stenciling on here. It's just, like I said, it's just light enough to decorate it, but it's not so dark as that you can't write on any of this. Just pretty. So, so pretty. And here's the other um, junk journal folder that I had made. Yep, and this one always gives me a little bit of trouble getting back in there. Here we go. There's another pocket. Two tags. More writing space. And then this is the back of our journal, the last page here. This is a belly band. With some lace and the uh, the the uh, this on it, the trim, and this tag, or actually this is a journal card. I think is just so pretty with the with the uh, butterfly and everything on it. So that's all in there, ready to go. And then all you need to do is just tie this up. There you go. All ready. So this journal will be listed in my Etsy shop. The Etsy shop is called Leslie's Creative Shop. And it will be listed in there probably after midnight Eastern time in the United States. So that will be after midnight. It will be December 28th. Um, and, and it will be probably after midnight um, when that comes on. So just go ahead and check the link below. And if you like this video and if you like any of the other videos on my channel that you've watched, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that, let's see if I can find it, right about here. Not right about here. There should be a little bell. If you ring, if you click on that bell, um, you can get notifications of whenever my videos go live. Um, so that way you can watch them. So I hope you enjoy this journal. Um, as I said, again, it will go up for sale on my um, Etsy, Leslie's Creative Shop. So I hope you have a really great night. And remember, be nice. It's really not that difficult. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Bye-bye.